My name is Yolanda Mavity, and I'm a physical therapist at Torrance Memorial Medical Center. We are here to talk about how to take care of your knee after knee arthroscopic surgery. In this video, we will review post-surgical goals, pain control, wound care, and exercises for optimal recovery. The first week after surgery, the goals are to reduce swelling and pain, improve knee motion, initiate strength, and to start to return to full weight bearing. Unless otherwise instructed by your physician, you may put full weight on the leg immediately. In some instances, you may use an assistive device for a period of time if walking is uncomfortable. To control pain and inflammation, you may use ice. Place ice bags or cold pack on your knee for 20 minutes at a time, icing at least four times per day for the first couple of days after surgery. This will help with pain management and minimize swelling. Do not place ice directly on your skin. Use a pillowcase or cloth between the ice and skin and do not leave ice on longer than 20 minutes as it may cause an ice burn. After surgery, leave white steri strips on the incision. Keep the wounds clean until stitches are removed at the first post-op visit. If you notice white discharge coming from the wounds, please call your physician. You may shower after surgery, but do not submerge the knee in a bath, pool, or hot tub until sutures are removed and incisions are fully healed. After the shower, clean and dry the incisions. Post-surgery rehab exercises are essential for attaining optimal recovery. In the remainder of this video, we will demonstrate home exercises you should do daily for the first couple of weeks after your surgery. It is important to start these exercises as soon as possible after surgery, even if the nerve block is still in effect. Once the nerve block wears off, approximately three days after surgery, it is much tougher to move the knee if you haven't already started. Ankle pumps. The first exercise we are going to demonstrate is the ankle pump. Ankle pumps is a simple exercise that can help with swelling management and prevent blood clot formation. Lie on your back and extend your legs. Point your toes and hold for six seconds. Then bring the toes back as far as possible. Do 10 ankle pumps per each hour to prevent blood clots. Quad sets. The next exercise is the quad set. This will improve muscle strength. First, lie on your back with the knee extended and fully straight. Tighten and hold the front thigh muscle, making the knee flat and straight. The tightening action of the quadriceps is important to strengthen the thigh muscle for improved standing and walking tolerance. Hold 10 seconds for each contraction. Do 10 repetitions three times a day. Heel slides to improve the bending of the knee. While lying on your back, actively slide your heel towards your buttock to bend the knee as far as you can tolerate. Hold this bent position for 10 seconds and then slowly relieve the stretch and straighten the knee. The goal of this exercise is to improve knee flexion. Repeat 10 times, three times a day. Hamstring sets. For the next exercise, lie down on your back and then bend your knee to 60 degrees. Next, press your heel into the ground and hold. You should feel hamstrings and quads tighten up. Hold for 10 seconds. Relax and repeat 10 times. Do these three times per day. Straight leg raise. Again, while you are lying on your back, tighten the quadriceps muscle so that the knee is flat, straight, and fully extended. Try to raise the entire operated limb up off the floor or bed. If you can keep the knee straight, raise the limb to about 45 degrees, pause one second, and then lower slowly to the bed, keeping the knee straight. Relax and repeat. If the knee bends when you lift the leg, wear the knee brace locked straight. If this is too painful to lift the leg, do not do this exercise. Keep trying to do the quadriceps setting exercise until you can lift the limb without letting the knee bend. Repeat 20 times. The goal of this exercise is to strengthen the thigh muscle. In the second week of your recovery, you will continue all the exercises we just demonstrated 
and then progress your rehab by adding these new exercises. Stationary bike. If you have access to a stationary bike, you may use it to gently stretch out your knee. If you are not able to bend the knee enough to do a full revolution on the bike, then you can oscillate the pedals back and forth gently until you're able to do a full revolution. You may ride the bike for 20 minutes a day without resistance if it is comfortable. Sideline hip abduction. We will start by lying on your side, slowly raise up your top leg to the side. Keep your knees straight and maintain your toes pointed forward the entire time. Keep your leg in line with your body. Bottom leg can be bent to stabilize your body. Repeat 10 times, perform two sets. Wear a knee brace locked straight if you are having difficulty keeping the knee straight or having knee pain. The purpose of this exercise is to strengthen the hip muscles which help with walking and control the knee. Standing heel raises. Now let's shift to the standing position for standing heel raises. Begin by facing a wall or countertop for support and balance. Keep the knees extended fully. Tighten the quadriceps to hold the knee fully straight. Raise up on tiptoes while maintaining the knees in full extension. Hold for one second, then lower slowly to the starting position. Repeat 20 times. Standing gastroc and soleus stretch. For the next exercise, you will remain standing. Start by facing the wall with the non-surgical leg in front, surgical leg behind with the knee straight. Lean forward with the hands against the wall. Keep the back of the heel on the floor. Gentle stretch should be felt in the calf muscle. For a soleus stretch, bend both knees, keeping the heel on the floor. Stretch will also be felt in the lower calf area, slightly different from the gastroc stretch. Normalize gait pattern. Our last exercise is gait training. The heel-toe pattern refers to the heel of the foot strikes the surface first, followed by rolling the ball and then the toes, which provide the push-off. During initial swing, the hip, knee, and ankle are flexed to begin advancement of the limb forward and create clearance of the foot over the ground. Be sure to bend your knee when swinging it forward. It is important to walk throughout the day to improve walking mechanics, and this will help you get back to walking in the community. Start by walking around your home and gradually increase the walking distance. Thank you for taking the time to view this video. At Torrance Memorial Medical Center, our goal is to provide personalized patient care to help our patients achieve optimal recovery and get you back to what you love to do. We encourage you to practice these exercises daily. For additional information, visit our website, torrancememorial.org, or contact our rehab support team at 310-517-4735 to speak to a member of our care team.